Hi, this is Sean. In this video, I'm going to describe how to use the particle instancer in a way that we can generate random a random choice of objects. So let's get started. All right, let's uh, create some particles. So I'm just going to create an omni emitter. There we go. We got some particles being emitted. And now let's uh, select all of these objects. And now let's go in and use the instancer. So the instancer will automatically generate. Um, let's just center all three of these objects and scale them down a little bit. All right, so what I wanted you to see is that by default, if you look at the instancer node, it's got um, it's got all of these different objects in it, including the nucleus node, which I don't think we need. Then, um, but it's only adding the first object, which is the torus, in the array slot zero. So, how do we get? Um, we, all those other ones to show up. Well, we can go into the particle shape and go all the way down to the instancer options here. And we can look at the object index. So right now we've got um, some choices here. We've got like, okay, the lifespan. That doesn't do anything. We've got the age. So that's kind of interesting. As the particles age, they transform. That's really not what we need. So basically, if you can see what's happening, at second one, it's the torus. At second two, it's the cone. And at second three, it's the spring or the um, helix. So anyways, what we need to do if we want to make these consistent is we need to create a custom attribute. So, or, well, it's actually not a custom attribute. We can just use the, um, the particle ID, um, this parent ID right here. So add that. And so now that we have that parent ID attribute, we can make a creation expression for it. So I'm going to say a creation expression that's random from uh, array zero, and there's three objects in that array. So now, still nothing. And why is that? Because we need to switch what the object index is on the array. So now, looks like we've got it. That's just great. Look at all those odd shapes. So, um, and in another video, I'll go over how to get them to aim in a certain direction, as well as to, uh, you know, apply certain scaling attributes to them. Uh, we could do that in this one. So we've got a few minutes more. How do we get these to custom scale or randomly scale? So we could go in and create an attribute. So let's just create a custom scale attribute. And in this one, I'm going to just make it a consistent scale. I'm not going to scale these nonlinearly. But in the, perhaps in the next one, I'll do a nonlinear scale. So we could say that custom scale is random from uh, point 0.5 to 3 times the size that it's automatically scaled at. So now, let's see if we get... Again, we have to scroll down here to this, the instancer and then look for scale. And now, let's see if there's a custom scale, our custom scale attribute. So if we go to the uh, emitter, we could probably make these kick out a little bit in terms of speed. So now we've got, you can see we've got very large and very small objects here because we've created this custom scale attribute. All right.
Well, that's a good start for um, setting up random objects to be chosen in uh, your instancer and also for getting a random scale attribute set up. Thanks for watching.